Congratulations on the brand new single. I've had a listen to it and our listeners are about to take a listen to it for the first time. And I've got to say, this is an amazing track. So congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks. We, uh, yeah, we put a bit of time into it. It's the making, not just the track, but the album. So the, this track's a very good sort of preview of what's coming up in the album. So tell us a little bit about this track. What was inspiring you guys with this track, especially with the lyrics? Um, lyrically, um, I, I sat on this track for a while. Um, we name our songs ridiculous names at the very beginning, working titles, so that they don't take on too much of a life before I have a chance to figure out what they're about. Uh, I sat on it for a long time trying to find um, an emotion, I guess, to attach. And... Um, just in general, the process we, of, of sort of what we were going through at the time, uh, making music and traveling and, um, I started really noticing that, you know, the more you start throwing down with the band, the more it puts pressure on the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, it, it really starts taking a toll on relationships, especially in, in all forms, friends, uh, friends outside of music kind of stopped calling after a while you know because they're like what are you doing on the weekend oh, i'm rehearsing i'm busy i've got a show i'm going here i'm going there so they stop calling after a while and then you know girlfriends obviously come and go fairly frequently too because of it and i just started noticing you know the boys were sort of going through it a little and um yeah it, it sort of inspired the song um um that that sort of thing was sort of happening so um I, I started sort of getting the idea around around um the chorus and then the chorus kind of gave birth to the rest of the song how do you juggle that that is so tough when you have um you've got work you've got your music career and you try to fit in everyday life like i know for myself at the moment um i work as a film journalist outside of working as a music journalist and at the moment we've got media screenings every night and it's making it so tough to catch up with friends how do you juggle that well short answer is you don't yeah it's impossible to juggle and if you if you pretend that you are you um you end up letting people down and that's why you end up uh in 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 a situation um yeah short answer is you don't really juggle it you just you do whatever's in front of you at the time or whatever you kind of need to do and you know a, a kiss and a promise for everyone else and and whether they hang around or not and look friends are old friends and good friends they know what's up they they hang around they they know that you know, you're busy all the time and you, you find time and you uh, and then the other ones weed themselves out over the years i guess um the relationship one's hard especially when you take the next step in a relationship and you you know you start getting older you start thinking about kids and mortgages and stuff the the music really doesn't pay much and a lot of people especially friends outside of music have no idea you know they all think oh you know you must be making three or four hundred bucks a gig each <laughs> we'd be lucky to, to pull in 20 bucks between us uh, most yeah. times so it's it's definitely a, a passion job it, it's not for the coin and um and you know it's in the, the passion of the art and i guess that's why we get we can get upset sometimes too a lot of artists get upset when they see sort of what's going on in the music industry um in terms of certain um certain things that make it through to the top or, or make it through and win awards and you just think why that like yeah you know it feels a very single serving uh and a lot of people especially down down in the local level they they pour a lot of a lot of heart into their artwork and they really it's not about the money it's about the art so i guess it doesn't really matter in the end about that sort of other stuff but it, it does it can be frustrating did you find it cathartic to, to put it down on paper when you were sitting down and working on this track? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, definitely while I was sort of writing and putting it together, uh, it, the hardest part is finding the, you know, what you want to, what you want to say. And once, once you, once you get the feelings and the emotions behind it, it, it usually writes fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, 
and then honestly once you've done with it it, it kind of goes off into the universe and, and even listening back now it doesn't really sound I don't, like it sounds like its own thing it, it, I, it's um it's really cool to see a song sort of become its own living thing definitely and you guys have put together a whole album was that difficult with everything that's been going on over the last 18 months, two years, because we were in and out of lockdowns and things like that, or did that actually give you guys a chance to work on your music? Um, it was hard. Uh, we started working on the album actually before all the lockdown stuff happened, and we got, luckily got the lion's share of it done. We've actually been finished and sitting on it for quite a while. Um, due to the lockdowns, we weren't able to really do much with it. We didn't really know how we wanted to approach the release so the lockdowns of anything of they only just sort of came in in the final processes of recording um and then they've been more of a a hamper on on us doing like having any shows and 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 releasing obviously um at the local level you want to be doing shows when you release you want to have a big you want to have a big um you know sort of a bang to to introduce it to the world and, and it's just unfortunately not really happened like that but um, the world is changing and uh, internet is uh, a crazy thing and um, we're, we're diving headfirst into that sort of direction these days. Definitely. And when can we expect to hear the album? Like, I've listened to this single today and I'm like, I want this album. When's the album going to be out? Well, we've got another single to drop uh, and that'll be coming out in about a month or so. And... Um, and then possibly, possibly four or five weeks after that, we'll we'll be looking at dropping the um, the whole lot. I'd say. Awesome. But um, we ha- I haven't got an official date yet. We're we're sort of figuring it out, and and we're seeing what what um what we can work out in between now and then as well in terms of any shows and that sort of thing. Yeah, that was actually my next question. What are the, what are your plans now? Everything's opening back up. Uh, are you hoping to get out there and do some shows after the holiday period? Oh, oh, definitely. We'll be we'll be thrown down. We've we've been learning the songs and uh, rehearsing them, and when we can, and uh, we're ready to to throw down a bit of a a bit of a show. It's going to be great. Awesome. And how can our listeners help you guys out at the moment? Because we've been urging our listeners to help our bands that haven't been able to do shows and things like that over the last eighteen months. So, have you guys got merch and stuff like that where people can go and and, and grab some stuff and support you guys? Yes, we've got our website, toxicon.com.au, um, and um, we've got we've got merch. Uh, we're actually re- uh, releasing a, um, a a single vinyl for this song. Oh, cool! So that that should be popping soon, and um, and then and then the usual merch stuff that we've got sort of rolling out as we go, uh, and then obviously the the album will be coming out. So. I mean, if they want to help, the best thing they can do at the moment, grab some merch um, or just like and share. Like, get every like, get everybody to to, to have a listen, um, and it, that that alone helps out. But um, you know, if they want to buy the song or, or the album, that's uh, that's also good. Awesome. Well, mate, I think it is time right now for our listeners to take a listen to Paralysis. For the first time on our show, is there anything you'd like to say to people out there before they take a listen to this amazing track for the first time? Turn it up and hold on to your jocks. (laughs) All right, mate. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us today. It's been an absolute...